One year ago marked the beginning of silver returning to its rightful role as money in the world. One year ago, silver was at $17.76 an ounce. After a very long and drawn-out consolidation, that went all the way back to St. Patrick's Day 2008. One year ago was the beginning of silver's breathtaking run to almost $50 an ounce, a 178% return. Even today, despite the massive paper attack in May and the last two days, we are still up 104% year over year. When I published the groundbreaking Silver Bullet and the Silver Shield article on February the 25th, silver was at $32. On June 27th, I said to buy physical silver at $33 for silver. Both dates were very good days to buy and never went below those numbers. Now, I'm telling you all, for the last time, buy physical silver. I will be taking this weekend to make every effort I can to make those that have been wavering in their purchase of physical silver to make the commitment and do it before the end of this month. I believe that we are on the knife's edge of a major shift and will make silver untouchable if you do not secure your metal right now. The end of this month marks a seasonal shift for silver investors and the end of the sell in May and go away. With the expiration of the Crimex contract today and with Bernanke's possible announcement of QE3 tomorrow, this could be that last best time in your life to buy physical silver. I do not believe we will see $100 silver because of the massive fraud in the metal suppression business will make silver unattainable. Silver and gold are direct competitors to the dollar. The folks at the Fed, the Treasury and JP Morgan do not want to see silver rise in price. They suppress the price because of silver rose. That would mean that the basis for all of their power, the dollar, would become worth less and eventually worthless. Andrew McGuire exposed this fraud and nearly paid with his life in a very suspicious hit and run. His claim is that there is 50 to 100 times the amount of paper traded for every physical ounce of real silver and gold. Just look at all the manipulation in the May silver drive-by shooting I reported on. The elite use a myriad of paper schemes to suppress the price of the physical metal. They all work rather effectively until the day comes that they cannot deliver on what they promised. This coming seasonal silver bull run will coincide with the collapse of the dollar and the world's paper markets. There will be a rush of humanity into anything of real tangible value. Unfortunately, there is going to be a lot of upset people who think they have gold and silver, only to find out that they only have nothing. If you don't hold it, you don't own it. When this new reality becomes evident to those who do have the metal, they will not part with it for some paper money that they did not want years before. That shift can happen in the span of a few days. With the length of time I know it takes to move money around the world, if you wait until it happens, it's too late. I think even Steve Jobs' resignation marks a very important shift in people's faith in paper assets. It was widely reported that Apple's market cap was higher than 32 of the largest banks in the Eurozone. It seems that all of the elite money managers love Apple. Apple's market cap is the largest in the world and is driven mainly by the cult-like following of Mac users to Steve Jobs. At the end of the day, what goes up must come down. I would hate to be Tim Cook today. No matter what this guy does, he'll never fill the shoes of Steve Jobs. Even if he does prove to be the successful CEO, the inflated market cap of Apple will take a hit as people's perception of the company will be deflated without the godlike influence of Steve Jobs. The fall of Apple will leave a lot of money searching for a home. With the mathematically inevitable collapse of the dollar, there is no good place to keep your wealth inside the paper casino. This seasonal shift is coinciding with a secular shift in power 
So when I say that this could be your last, best chance to buy physical silver, I do not say this for shock value. I say it because we are entering the most dangerous time in humanity as we head into this fall and into 2012. This will not be another 2008 or 1929. This mathematically inevitable collapse of the dollar will be the single largest event in human history. The collapse of the dollar will alter the way we live for generations to come. When it collapses, all paper assets will become worthless as the very basis for the paradigm ceases to function. Not only will people's perception of values shift, I believe that power will shift from west to east and that will lead to war. I have made every effort I know to convince you to sell every single paper asset you own to buy physical silver. I stated in the groundbreaking article, The Silver Bullet and the Silver Shield, that buying physical silver is by far the greatest act of wisdom and rebellion any American can and should be doing right now. In that article, I put forth a plan that will fundamentally change the game and do it from outside the system. It will overthrow the elitist system that enslaves us with debt and do so without a shot being fired. Most importantly, there is no way the elite can stop it. The plan is quite simple. Sell every single paper asset you own right now and buy physical silver. As with anything else in life, knowing the answer is not as important as knowing the why. The why is what brings about fundamental change in your thinking. When you see action like Hugo Chavez bringing home tons of real gold from England to Venezuela, that shift is happening. When you see the massive moves in the paper markets versus the real markets, that shift is happening. When you see the Fed can print $16 trillion out of thin air, that shift is happening. When you see that the government will never say no to debt and that the economy is headed back down again, that shift is happening. At some point in the very near future, a change is going to happen and if you are not into the safety of real assets, it will be too late. I'm not the only one that is seeing this move. One of my favorite writers, Jim Willie, said last week, the silver investment demand is due to a big, important recognition that silver is in the process of resuming and reclaiming its monetary role. The Chinese lead in that parade, adding silver to their reserves in management of their 3.2 trillion reserves booty. With only 33 million ounces of silver in the registered vaults of the Crimex, that is less than 0.0375% of just Chinese foreign reserve. That silver is less than six hours of debt that our government has been printing up in record pace. Less than 0.3% of Apple's market cap could buy up all the remaining silver in the climax. With 28,000 plus contracts of open interest just in the September Crimex contract alone, only 23% of those contracts need to stand for delivery next month and that would be no physical silver left on this planet. If we included all of the other contracts floating on that same metal all the way out until 2016, that drops to just 6% needs to stand for delivery. The actual amount in the vaults have been draining so fast and so long that we are coming near the event horizon for silver. When that happens, there will be no do-overs, just people with their shoulda, woulda, couldas, and those with a real stack. I have concentrated my efforts on silver because I knew that it was the place to get the most attention this year, and there was still time. The time was right for people who are ahead of the curve to work on getting their assets out of paper and into the real world. At the end of this month, I feel if you do not have your assets out of paper assets and into silver, it will be too late. Those that have not made the move will either be caught in the rapid and massive collapse of the dollar and all of the world's markets, or futilely waiting for some pullback in silver to make their move. 
I've always been a fan of dollar cost averaging into silver, but those days are over. You better have what you want today, or risk not making it through the next monetary paradigm with your purchasing power intact. If you need a minimum number to shoot for, I'd say a thousand ounces of physical silver. Much less is needed for most. Many Academy members have bought much, much more than that. This is not about the dollar investment of silver. This is about a massive change in your life. Physical silver will be the least of your worries if you're not physically prepared with the real assets like food, fuel, water and guns. The most important thing you will need above all else is the ability to think. Knowing the end is near for the dollar and cheap silver, I am preparing myself to stay ahead of the curve. I will be moving into the next area that will be the best place to be, teaching about the collapse and building the intellectual foundation for the next revolution of ideas. When the majority of the people in the world wake up to the dollar collapse, they will not want to hear that they should have bought silver because it will be too late for them. I do not intend to keep speaking about it anymore. They'll want to know what happened, who caused it and what to do about it. That is why I intend to spend my time on the greatest truth never told. I'll put my effort into that project to serve that huge coming need of humanity. This will bring us to the crisis where all bets are off. Things get sticky. I wanted to build a network of people who got it before it happened. Not only would they be the best and brightest who saw what was coming, they would be the very wealthy when the new paradigm came. These are the kind of people I want to work with when the day comes. I do not want to work with some Johnny-come-lately opportunist who gets it after the collapse. Quite frankly, it will be too dangerous to work with even the most well-intentioned, desperate person. The crisis period will be a period that I will only work with a community of people who get it. I'm so proud of all the really great people I've been in contact with over the past year. With over 15,000 people in our academy, that is far in excess of what I set out to do. I know that when the time comes, we are going to do wonderful things in rebuilding a society where peace, freedom and honest money will rule the day.